a lovely boy. He is a lovely boy. Very gentle natured boy. Very respectful to elderly people, olders. And he had the makings of a, a fine young man. He had it all in him, you know. Um, he listened, he took advice. So he didn't shun any advice I gave him. You could see he tried to get proactive about encouragement I gave him to make his life and change his better when he got a bit wobbly with certain areas, you know. Um, so he was open to suggestion. It's not one of these young people that I don't want to hear what you've got to say, I'm not interested, dismissive, rude, surly. He wasn't that kind of young man. He was quite a solitary person, so it's not someone you'd see with gangs and groups of people. Um, always Michael on his own or with his mother. Um, that's how I know him. So I can't pinpoint a friend with him who's this person. He was always on his own. He was angry. He was angry at a lot of things, like a lot of young people are. And, you know, I think one of the things as pe parents, we've got these different lives going on. And particularly when you live in places like, communities like housing estates and this kind of community life, there's a lot going on. Um, so parents, are trying to stabilise their home, stabilise by work, the work they do, their jobs, trying to hold down jobs, pay mortgages or rents, um, you know, ordinary lives for everywhere in the country. But when you've got estates like this, you're going to get a lot more complex issues. And I think um, with a lot of parents, you know, they do their best. I'm a parent, I know. If you take your finger off that pulse for one second, you've got to believe me, you will lose your child. Young people that have lost their way, got no hope. You will get these elder people that can come in and prey on them. You will do, you will get these, because they've got the experience of education, they've got the experience of force. A lot of these young boys, mental bullying, it doesn't have to be a physical bullying, but mental bullying, you've already got weaknesses, you're already low in different points in your life, they can pray and get these young boys so easy. About a year ago is when I saw him with this, the, the whole Muslim dress. And obviously I spoke to him about it, I asked him, are you a Muslim? I mean, I wanted to be sure. I mean, it's obvious physically, but are you a Muslim? And he said, yes, he's gone that way now. So I said, well, just be careful, you know, do the right thing if that's what you're going into. Because, you know, I'm aware that there's some that ride on the coattails of Islam and they're really not serving their cause. This example will tell you that that does not serve Islam's cause. It wouldn't be in their name for this kind of violence. And I think if you're going to be a proper Muslim, then it's a wonderful religion. So I was being cautionary to him when I said, you know, as long as, you know, you're doing the right thing, and I asked him what mosque he was going to. It wasn't a local mosque, and I've been trying to find this name, and I can't remember this name, but he said he goes to a mosque and he prays three times a day. I said, oh, so you're really, you know, you're really like an ardent worshiper? And he said, yes. And I said, well, okay, you take your eye off your children, and this will happen again, and we will see a lot more of this. Because if young people, they become their families. These gangs and these people, and these people that can radicalise these young children, they're only looking for the weak ones, the ones that have no support. So we have a duty as parents to keep our eye on those children. We, we have a duty because, you know, Islam for all its, its, its greatness that it does, we know that there are fractions of them that radicalise our young men and turn them into what we've just seen. And Parents need to be vigilant. It is your duty, if you see your children making these changes, to check that they are doing the right thing by Islam. And they're not turning into getting the wrong messages about what Islam represents. And then we won't hopefully have to see more of what we're seeing. Um, my, my fear is that we will, um, because people are burying their heads in the sand. Parents need to really look at what's going on. Look at what's going on in your homes. Question your children. You need to be involved so that you know what they're doing, you know?